Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video I'm hoping to take Peps for a hack because it's a lovely day. On the way up here I was like, oh I've got no calming cookies and she has been on one lately. <laughs> She's been quite full of herself which is quite nice because I've been worried about her for a little while now. So to see her so full of energy is great. But I've come into the tack room and I have just found this. I think this was very kindly gifted to me by Premier Performance at one of the big horse shows last year. So I've just put a little bit in with some chaff down there. Some honey chop. Yeah, I'm just gonna feed that to her now and then probably do some jobs, just let that settle and work its way into her system. And then I'm gonna brave hacking out on my own for the first time in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna go around the track, which we've not done for a bit. And she does love to have a canter up the canter hill. So it could be an interesting one, guys. So stick around, and uh, without further ado, let's roll that intro. <laughs> cinnamon flavour which I wasn't quite sure if she would be that into but she's eating it so that's a good sign. Oh. <laughs> zoom right in. I was just <laughs> zoom out. Please zoom out. Don't do don't do me dirty like this camera. Okay there we go. Yeah so sorry it's been a wee little while since I've filmed anything for YouTube. Hello we've got mucky mush coming. No oh, I'm very overexposed. Where's a good, what is my hair doing? <laughs> oh, I'm so distracted so easily. What is going on? There we go. <laughs> so sorry for the... Uh, hello. Are you saying hello to everybody? <laughs> Come on then. Say hi vlog. Oh, oh, baby, we like the cinnamon. Do we like the cinnamon? Hmm? You can do the cinnamon challenge then. I'm, I tap out of that one. <laughs> yeah, so sorry there haven't been a lot of uploads recently. In all honesty, I feel like I'm cursed because I've made plans to do things and something's always got in the way and it's not like, you know, little things. They're quite major things, which is out of everyone's control. Like I'd planned to have tidy tack rooms back and she was in an accident, which is obviously awful. We were meant to go to a pole clinic on Saturday just gone. It's Valentine's Day today, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. What was I talking about? I'm getting distracted. I'm also getting beaten up. Why do you do this? You're such a pest. <laughs> and yes, I know, I know. What else? Yeah, so the pole work clinic. My friend was moving the box around on the Friday to get things ready. And the steering went on the box. Thank God, like, it didn't happen the next day when we had Dish Little Munchkin on board. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, what are the odds? And then like, tried to film some content at the end of last year and my camera blew over in the wind and got broken. So my brand new camera that I got for my birthday last year has been in for repairs. Why are you bugging me? I got nothing. I got toilet roll, if that's, do you want some toilet roll? <laughs> Back in 2020, everyone wanted toilet roll. <laughs> so yeah, it just feels like I've had a string of bad luck, even for Vlogmas. Like I had all of Vlogmas planned, I was really excited about the videos that I had planned for you guys and then we all ended up really ill like within a week me Andy and Hazel were so ill and it just put me back and I thought I'm not going to be able to keep to the upload schedule that I wanted so yeah I've been feeling a bit dis disheartened also a bit of an update on my lovely friend Nick who you guys know and love from the vlogs she has had a huge confidence knock after her accident with Lily which is completely understandable. Lily is now on full bone, she's got a lovely learner, she's doing a fantastic job with her and her other horse Hugo has been sold. He's gone to a lovely new home because Nick just doesn't have the confidence to ride and I think she lacks the time as well but I miss my bestie, my yard bestie. So Nick's probably not going to be in many vlogs now which kind of sucks. And yeah, just like a culmination of all those things is like really put me off. So I just took a break. I just needed some time to de-stress <laughs> and uh, yeah, pick up the pieces a little bit, but what do you want? What do you want? Food, always. 
food, glorious food. <laughs> but yeah, Peps has been doing amazingly actually the last couple of weeks. So if you watched the last video, I might have to move away. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you're getting in the shot and now the sun's in my eyes. This is just carnage, absolute carnage. I gave you your feed. Have you eaten it already? I mean, I know there wasn't much there, but flipping egg. You're greedy. I need to go and soak some hay for her. Maybe I should do that and then she'll stop mugging me. But yeah, um, she's been doing really well. If you watched the last video with Alice, I was kind of explaining the situation we've had, but I will go into more, into more depth. Um, maybe while I'm out hacking I'll tell you a bit more of that story but I want to do like a proper video when the saddle fitter comes back out to reflock because it will have like softened like the flocking will have softened <laughs> I um yeah I will do a proper vlog where we actually talk about the differences between the two saddles and why the old saddle was affecting both of us so badly but I need to get this one some hay because she's just starving apparently wasting away so yeah i'm gonna do that because i do have to well i have to wet her hay net um for lunch because i haven't planned ahead <laughs> what a surprise shock horror and put her hay for tonight on soak a lot of them down here have had a cough i guess it's just that time of year stop it and the hay is all like dried out it's like the last cut of the season isn't it so anyway yes i'm gonna get on with soaking and then you can let that calming supplement do its thing bring you down i'm gonna do some meditation the sun's out you sit and meditate might put your uh, massage pad on actually and then we'll go for a little hacky doo doos which is going to be fun because it's nearly turnout time and the last time we rode at turnout time you were a little nutcase you were a little nutcase anyway oh did you hear that that was the sweetest little okay i know I know, you're so hungry. Are you so hungry? I'll go, I've got to go. Yeah, I'm going to go and get her sorted. some hay now are you happy <laughs> it's a shame you're in the dark it's not the best uh, spot there is it now <laughs> well you've got your hay I've got my hose so I'm gonna fill up this water and do my jobs and then I'll start tucking up hmm well I'm not sure how much of that calming supplement Peps has actually eaten so this could be fun <laughs> Oh, there's a horse having a little hooli out there. <laughs> I think he's just gone out. So, I've got my fork at the ready. I'm going to uh, do my mucking out while Peps is having a little something to eat, get something in her belly. As you guys know, she had, had the gastric ulcers. Well, actually, you might not know, because all of a sudden I've had an influx of new subscribers. So, thank you very much if you are new to the Cobbs Can Clan. Thank you very much for subscribing. And if you're watching, why not click that red button? It's very inviting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you want to join the Cos Can Clan, red button it. Red button it up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get on doing some jobs. This is a new favourite of mine. This is the KM Elite, the ultimate shavings fork. But it is meant to be indestructible. Like in the adverts, they had cars driving over it and all sorts. So, um, but I really love it. It's really lightweight and easy to use. I have also been asked not that long ago if I'm still using bed down lavender shavings, which I am. Should I have a little nosy on at the bed? I haven't even mucked out yet, so I do apologise. <laughs> but um, this is actually a mixture of the lavender shavings and the pure shavings at the moment. So yeah, still going strong with the lavender shavings, and still very, very lucky and fortunate to be a brand ambassador for bed down. So. Thank you, Bed Down, for putting up with me <laughs> for this long. But yeah, I'm just going to crack on now and then we'll uh, get grooming. Oh, 
She said my coughs didn't work. <laughs> she still brought the tack out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't come out, I'm sick. I can't go out, uh, uh, I'm sick. I think the fresh air will do you some good. We get to walk from my girth on the floor. Oh no, had to land in the mud, didn't it? As if it's not already filthy enough. Yeah, you, at least it wasn't my saddle landing in the mud. There we go, here is the lovely new black country saddle. Sadly, my Pravin's leathers don't match it. But, um, are they still on my length? Oh yeah, that's all right then. No adjustment needed. So, one of the things the saddle fitter told me is to do the girth up more on this side just because her saddles in the past have had a tendency to slip round to the right and so far this saddle hasn't done that so um also you guys would be like oh, ray sacrilege because i'm wearing forest green flexes and i'm putting her in pink <laughs> but um i just figured i'm gonna be hacking around like technically a bit like a forest so forest green what are you doing are you all right? Something irritating your leg. Yeah, I just figured that wasn't a great colour to hack out in. And put something visible on. And I've got my pink high vis on. Normally I put the exercise sheet on as well, but I think it's just such a nice day. I want to get the sun on her back and we should be visible enough. We're not going out onto the roads or anything like that. Oh, I'm not doing very well, am I? I'm chucking everything on the floor. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've also missed something on your face. Oh, that's because it's hiding behind there. So yeah, I just do it up higher on this side. And the last saddle, I was told to put on balance straps. So these are the balance, this is a balance strap. So I had it on the balance strap. And I was also told to put a half pad with risers underneath. Um, and it's still slipped slip to the right and this one hasn't so funny old story eh pips well it isn't funny it cost me quite a lot of money <laughs> i'm a poet and i didn't even know it Cha -chow. i did actually buy pips a brand new bridle a premier equine one and it was so pretty but i ordered an extra full and it actually doesn't fit her so i'm just gonna crack on now because i do have to pick hazel up at three o'clock Oh, you are so pretty. You are. Happy Valentine's Day, darling. We're going for pink for Valentine's Day. Pink to make the boys wink, eh, Pips? You're gonna be flirting with everyone as we go past the boys' field. She's like, nope, I am a strong, independent young woman. I don't need no man. You tell them, Pips, <laughs> says the married woman. <laughs> I do make me laugh. What is going on here? We got our knickers in a twist. Hi, love. If you're wondering why I'm doing a Cockney accent, it's because I live near East London. So, not that you would tell from my accent. I'm very well travelled. I've got a very weird accent. I think I would say mostly Lancastrian, but when I go home to Lancashire, I get told I sound like I'm from Essex now. I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Are we gonna have a nice time? She says, I certainly am. I'm going to go for zoomies, whether you like it or not. I just know when she sees the canter hill, she's going to want to go because she has been not, how do I describe her? She just feels like a bit of a ticking time bomb at the minute. So I think she does need a good gallop, but whether that's a good thing to do or not while you're coughing is another thing, sweetheart. Have to up your respirator booster in your feed. Oh, suck it in, girly. Oh, we might be able to switch back to your other girth. After a break, we couldn't get your girth up, could we? No, we couldn't. Oh, what's going on here? That's no good, is it? <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get this party started. We up. Where's my stirrup? 
and we're off. First solo hack in, God knows how long. Should be interesting. Peps has been like yanking the reins out of my hand recently and scratching her muzzle a lot. But I think um, she has been prone to allergies in the past. So I just wonder if perhaps where the seasons are changing a little bit at the moment, it might be bothering her. I don't know where this is pointing guys. I know I can connect it to my phone, but that requires memory space, which I do not have. She might want to go in the field. You can go in the field afterwards. You can go in the nud. Oh, I meant to take my car keys out of my pocket. I don't really want to lose them because, you know, I kind of need to go home after this. This is probably because she's on her own that she slowed down. Or you're just showing me up now because I make her out to be some beastie and then whenever I get a camera on her she's like me little miss innocent over here you good girl ears forward sun is shining I'll probably start singing to myself <laughs> halfway around guys or maybe immediately should we do some warm-ups <laughs> vocal warm-ups I'm not gonna lie guys I am feeling nervous and it's only because I haven't really been able to ride all that much for the last couple of months. I am taking peps, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Shouldn't jinx it really, should I? But um, we're going to Thetford for a little horse riding holiday. Been very kindly invited by Forest Edge Retreats to go for a little horsey holiday, get some content and just, yeah, have a little break, which I'm so looking forward to. The only thing is I will be going on my own. I don't know how she's gonna be on her own. Like I'm not taking any other horses with me. I have a friend coming, so I'm not gonna be on my lonesome. But yeah, oh, you do need, a, do you need a poo? You can walk and poo, I promise. I know it's, it's amazing, but you can. Oh, <laughs> we've set someone off. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I could be on uh, the West End, guys. Are you gonna gallop back over here? I'd rather you didn't, to be perfectly honest. Oh, the walk's increased. Oh dear. She might be like, where are we going? Because we always like, at the minute, we're always going out the front gate, just because the common is quite boggy. I will show you actually, on the way back, there's one bit of bogginess. See, she was looking there, because that's the way we've been going recently. We're gonna go do something different. If that's okay with you. Gonna have lots of things to look at and spook at and whatnot. <laughs> oh, look, a chicken coop. I don't know when the last time was that she came round here, so she might be a bit on edge. But yeah, anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. That's so bad. Um, <coughs> yeah, I need to force myself to ride on my own hacking because that is maybe what I'm going to be doing. I don't know. There is like the lady who owns um, Forest Edge Retreats. It's actually the same person who runs e-riders. So lovely Susie, if you have done e-riders before and you get your um, little score sheet at the end of each month, Susie deals with all that. She's so, so lovely and so hard working. Like I have no idea how she fits everything in. That's a bit foggy here. Um, I think she might give me a little tour because otherwise I'm gonna get lost. I don't know where I'm going. Um, so we won't really be alone alone. But if we decide to venture out alone, I wanna feel confident that I can do that, you know? We're just riding around the track that kind of leads around the yard now. So if you're new here, you won't have seen this before. Some of my OGs will recognize where I'm going. It's such a lovely ride around here. And we have a, um, like a little, short gallop stretch and when we get around there I'm sure Peps will start picking up at the minute she's just got a nice walk going I think me talking helps to calm both of us down or at least it calms me down which in turn must keep her calm so yeah I, I should have some company while I'm there but just in case I don't I want to make sure that I feel confident enough taking her out on my own she's re not really bad she just gets fizzy Honestly, she, she is going to 100% play me up today and be like, no, nope, I can't be bothered to move. <laughs> but where she's been coughing, she might actually be a, a little lethargic today. 
but it's a bit bit of a mixed bag even my my learner the other day she was talking about peps for some reason i can't remember what she was talking about now but she just went she's a complex girl your peps and i was like yeah done i know it i think we were talking about like she'd messaged me saying that she'd come in from the field like a bit of a hooligan last friday bucking kicking flying about um so she was like oh instead of uh instead of riding her i decided to give her a nice massage to calm her down how sweet is that and she sent me a video and peps looked so spaced out i really miss nick <laughs> like you guys know we bounce off of each other so well and we'll always have a laugh out hacking but um i i have to figure out now how to navigate doing content on my own <gasps> best not have ripped my flexes don't think it has it's dangerous out here guys <laughs> with all the thorns i'm ducking and diving Ooh. That scared me more than it scared Peps. Peps didn't even flinch at that, but I did. I'm gonna have to clip her again this weekend because we want you looking nice because uh, we might have bed down coming along while we're in Thetford to take some photos. So, gotta have you looking presentable. You all right? You need a poo poo? We can't poo and walk apparently. It is impossible. Oh, Pepper. Is it nice? Hmm? It's a beautiful day for it. That's why when I looked at the weather, I was like, no, get your tack on and get her out. I don't really like hacking off the property on my own. Just if the worst should happen and I lose peps, there is a main road that she would, because she won't stay with me. She's galloped for home before when I've fallen off out hacking and it, it is terrifying. It's the worst feeling ever. Thankfully, some people caught her. So I actually, this is where the saddle saga started, I suppose. Or it's it's always been there. I've been through like four or five saddles now with her. The first one was actually, I bought it for my lone pony before her. And I was told that it fit her enough, but it really didn't fit me well. It really threw me forward and I was very unbalanced anyway. So it wasn't doing me any favors. and. She was not balanced, she was very wobbly. I got her as a six-year-old, but she was much like a four-year-old when I got her. She was very, you know, just about knew the basics. But you're very trainable, clearly, because look what we've done. Two novices, and we've, uh, we've done all right, haven't we? So yeah, I was out hacking, and my, I think I'd just lost my balance slightly and put too much weight in the right stirrup, and my saddle just slipped. And yeah, I came off didn't manage to keep hold of her and yeah she fled for home and we were like here there's only one road she'd have to cross but she got I'd say halfway home which is terrifying so she would have been like flat out gallop on the roads it was just lucky that some horsey minded people saw her outside their house and came out the house and caught her for me and as I sort of reached the main road there was just some random guy stopped his car and was like have you lost your horse and I said yeah I was bawling my eyes out and he said we've got her and I thought oh my god thank god and he gave me a lift to where she was basically well, that was very 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 scary so now like if I do fall I try so hard to hold on to her oh oh does something smell funny yeah this is what I mean I think the allergies are starting maybe I'll have to put her on some kind of allergy supplements it's weird i think <clears throat> the allergens change each year they must do because she's she had allergies not at the yard that we were at last but the yard before that she had really bad allergies and she was properly head shaking and she's kind of doing that again now but she hasn't done that at all since we've been here not that i can think of you can just give them like effectively like hay fever tablets which may also help Honestly, this horse. <laughs> you cost me a fortune. Happy Valentine's Day to me. I'll have to go out and buy you some pills. <laughs> Should we pick it up a little? Should we have a little tiaro tea? Hey, Good girl. That's nice. I've been getting some lovely trot workout hacking recently. And one spot in particular where she just really strides out beautifully oh god that could take me head off <laughs> <laughs> 
feel like there might be a cough coming. All right. Oh. Trying to stop? Yeah, okay. Oh dear. I don't want to like overexert her, but also I do think that having a little bit of a trot in a canter will help a little. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a bit worried that if I canter her, she's just going to stop to cough and I'm going to go over her head. Oh, foreshadowing. No, hopefully not. Please don't do that to me. You can't dump me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I think uh, the cough is affecting her or the allergies because last time I came round here, we got to this point and she was jiggy jogging because she knows that the canter hills around this corner. But she's been a very, very good girl. And the last hack we had, she was like this, very placid. Actually, I've had her on um, uh, Equinutritive no more nerves they very kindly sent me some to try her on at first i wasn't really seeing a difference um she still seemed pretty wired but i'd say within the last week and a half i actually won a year's supply from them as well through one of their competitions so she's continued on it and she's been doing really well like the last yeah week and a half we've had some very nice chilled rides I say that Sunday in the school she was like on one it wasn't like she is out hacking she was just like excited and it was just forward going and nice it wasn't there was nothing malicious about it not that you're ever ma malicious I don't know what I'm talking about I just mean that like she wasn't bucking and bronking and going psycho but I think she's a bit of an internal worrier and that's what kind of gets her all wound up when we're out hacking so I think the no more nerves, oh, oh no, we don't want to go that way. I think the no more nerves is, is helping with that now. She seems very settled, as you can see, she's got her ears forward, doesn't seem particularly bothered by anything. It might sound a bit scary to you guys, but um, this gallop track runs right next to the M25, so it is a bit noisy. Look at her little ears. I don't know if you'll feel up to it. I'm going to roll with her. If she doesn't want to, we don't have to. What do you think? Oh, she wants to go! <laughs> oh, I feel like she's needed this. We both have. <laughs> your lungs a good blowout. I nearly got dumped. <laughs> it's because I came out of the saddle. Oh beautiful trot. Good girl yeah good girl. Can we get a big trot? Oh good girl. Big trot. She's like, it's very hard to go uphill, mummy. Oh, oh good girl. <laughs> well, you got to see a bit of turbo peps. Look at that view. Oh, it's so beautiful. I have a good stretch now. I thought she'd be coughing more than she is actually. I think she enjoyed that. Hey, good girl think you can have a nice naked day in the field. I will regret that later because she's going to be disgusting. Disgusting! When she comes in. Look at her shoulders going. This is one thing like I want to try and find some footage from my GoPro where she had the old saddle on. Well the last saddle. And just see if I can notice a difference because I feel like sitting here and looking down I can. So it'd be nice to like have that comparison to show you guys isn't it pretty just like you i think sometimes just having a good blowout like that just helps with their airways i know that when she is in work normally her breathing is better so i need to keep her in work now what have you seen oh don't do this to me there's me saying how she's not really spooked by much at the minute 
Good girl. What a good girlie. What a good girl. This horse has a sixth sense, I swear to God. So she has probably seen something that I won't see for another 200 yards. Good girl. Oh, these trees are nasty. Nasty. Is it another horsey? Coming the other way, maybe? I can't see anything. I think you're overreacting. I just think here as well, like her head position in the walk is so much better. She's carrying it out and down a bit more. Whereas before I feel like, well, if you watch the video with Alice, you'll have heard her talk about how she's very upright in front, like very carries her head high. Very proud looking horse. <laughs> That's her natural way of carrying herself. But obviously when we as riders get on their backs, we want them to carry themselves in a very unnatural way and they need to be able to stretch down, lift their back, push from behind. All very unnatural. <laughs> and especially unnatural if you're shaped like Pepsi's. We haven't gone across that bridge for a little while. Honestly, we used to hack out for hours and hours and hours. Now I just unfortunately don't have the time. Like I say, I've got to pick Hazel up shortly. She might get a little bit tense and spooky down here. Good girl. It is very noisy. That's why the ear bonnet helps. I do have people asking me why she actually has the ear bonnet. Part of it is for the flies because she's got such big ears that the flies literally fly into her ears and buzz about and dance about, which obviously isn't very nice for her. But it also just dulls the noise a little. So yeah, she just doesn't have to hear because their hearing is a lot better than ours, guys. <laughs> I thought there was a bird on the path, like staring us down, but it's not, it's a leaf. <laughs> There's me thinking I'm having a stare down with a bird. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot going on up there, isn't there? Good girly. The busy M25. <laughs> Tell you what though, I much prefer hacking next to it than driving on it. It is not a nice road. If you're from the area or if you have ever driven on the M25 before, you will know exactly what I'm on about. <laughs> the other name for it is the London Orbital Motorway. So it literally does a circle around London. And London's obviously a city, it's very busy. And I feel like everyone just has somewhere to be. And it also kind of links up to Dover which is obviously where a lot of the overseas stuff comes from, like, oh God. <laughs> oh yeah, they've this bit, if you've watched previous vlogs before, this bit always used to get flooded. So they put in this drainage system now, which is awesome. But apparently the first time Pep saw this, she freaked out. <laughs> Can't say I really blame her. If you've, you know, you come down this route so many times and then that just appears one day. That's fair enough. But yeah, we're just gonna... She's been so good. So, so good. Good girlie. You need a scratch. Oh God, not down the hill. Do you want a scratch? You can stop. No? You want a scratch? Oh, 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 oh. Good girl. I do hate that feeling of her tugging me, but... I know she's not doing it because she doesn't want to take the contact or anything like that. It is literally her nose is bothering her so much at the minute. This is so good. Oh, peppercorn. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Those better not bloody move, I swear to God. <laughs> Don't look at them. Don't look at them. I mean, I saw them and I thought she'd already looked at them. Oh, they are spooky. Apparently there's... um a memorial down at one of the local country parks which is obviously very sad and yeah there was a warning on our group page like if you do decide to go over there just be prepared that there are balloons everywhere <laughs> because we all know there will be that one horse that cannot cope with things like that well I, I don't think most horses would cope it's a very weird thing to see good girl you are such a saint like Normally, coming down here, like, or any home stretch, especially when we're on our own, I think she just wants to get back home. She will jog trot or trot along here. And today she's very calm. She just, she feels lovely. Really, really nice. Good girl. Maybe that no more nerves just took a little while to kind of 
get into the system and work its magic. But it was also a case of like, I was just bringing her back into work. She'd been out of work for a while. It was winter, so she was fresh. But this is just so lovely. But then now I'm thinking, I just had a thought there, sorry. But if she was that uncomfortable, obviously with the saddle, maybe that's why she was doing that before. Like maybe now that she's comfortable, she's not like, do you know what I mean? Maybe she was running away from that discomfort and that, well, I hate to say that she might have been in pain, but she, she must have been because I was having regular fe uh, physiotherapy for my own back every five to six weeks. So the saddle wasn't just affecting her, it was affecting me as well. And I haven't had any issues in this saddle at all. I haven't had any physiotherapy for a while, so. There was actually a little hill here and I think other people have cantered up it before, but I don't know for sure. And I don't want to canter her up there without checking first, because, you know, I, it, only because it's like longer grass and I just worry that there's like rabbit warrens or whatever down there or up there, but it looks nice. So you can like keep going here and loop round, but I think I'm just going to leave it there today because she has been a saint and I know she knows where she is. And I don't, wouldn't want to get in a fight when we've had such a good ride. I just want to let her, let's see where she takes us actually. Yeah, no, she does want to go home. That's fine. I'm happy, more than happy with that. Um, so this is the boggy bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear. This is the only bit I think now that's boggy. I don't know why you have to trot through it. Don't trot through it. Your poor sensories and tendons. Don't do it. What an epic horse you are. I told you she'd fill me up, but genuinely, I think a combination of just getting things right for her, you know, getting the saddle right, getting a, a right, like the supplement that's working for her and calming her sort of internally. Oh God, the tree nearly took me out. What? Ah! I'm gonna lose you guys just now. I'll have my GoPro hanging off a tree. Are you still there? You are still there. Whoa, whoa, we're slaloming up here. Pepsi's like, I don't really know which bit to go on. It's not the nicest, is it? What a good girly. What a good girly. God. I'm gonna get taken out one of these days. But it is not this day. But it is not this day. Well. <laughs> we're not quite home yet. No, we've got to stop thinking like that, Rachel. I've got to start being nice to myself. We're all on the hype train now, guys. <laughs> that brings me on to like something else I wanted to talk about is like, I want to change my content slightly. Well, not change it, but just introduce some other parts to it. So for any, anyone new and to my OGs, you'll know that I used to do some try on videos and they stopped partly well mostly maybe because i lost a lot of confidence in myself and i know i talk about body positivity and stuff but i i have not been positive about my body at all for the longest time through lockdown i did put weight on and felt pretty crap about myself and then i've also had because we always go that way i'm just gonna loop around this way yeah i've had like some hate as well that targets my body and it's just it got me really down and that was another reason why I just needed to take a step away from things to clear my head. Yeah, I, I want to, I do want to still do like body positivity and stuff like that and talk more about just sort of mental health and like looking after yourself a bit more. I will maybe do a video if you guys leave a comment down below if you would like a video about, it's kind of about like my mental health journey that i've been on over the last few months i am in a much better headspace now <laughs> you guys will be pleased to know but yeah i was just so demotivated i didn't want to ride i didn't want to do anything yeah i'm 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 feeling much better yeah let, let me know what you think <gasps> there's a blade of grass hallelujah spring is on its way can you actually get anything oh no she just wants to scratch oh baby oh girly Shall we get you out in the field and go do some sunbathing? Oh, oh, you're just having a look around. There is someone walking. See, this is her sixth sense. Can you, you won't even see that dot of a man over there. She has. 
And if there's a dog over there, you can bet your bottom dollar she's looking at it. She stares over there from her stable. And you look very, 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 very pretty when you do. You are such an amazing pony. You're a good girl. Oh, I'm so chuffed. What a super girl. Thoroughly enjoyed that. She's been amazing. Look how she's stretching down as well. I just feel like for the longest time she hasn't been able to do that. There's just been lots of positive signs recently, which fingers crossed, you know, we're moving in the right direction. I am still being very cautious. Look, she slowed down because we're by the field. I know, sweetheart, you are going out, darling. We take these horses for granted. They don't have to do things like this for us. They owe us absolutely nothing. Such amazing animals. Really, they are. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed coming for a little spin with me. Not that exciting, but we don't mind. Hopefully my uh, banter has been enough for you. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy me rambling to myself. Oh, good girl. She's a good girly. My keys just scratched my saddle. <laughs> That's why I didn't want them in my pocket. Oh. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes? What is it? You were a good girl, weren't you? You got a sweetie. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. Look at these. These are from Equinutritive. So the same company that... um the no more knows this from they look like little licorice they smell so good as well comment down below if you're a licorice person or not because i'm a licorice person but i know it's a very like taboo thing like not everyone likes it who's my special girl hey were you good were you very very good girl Mwah. happy valentine's day to me from you <laughs> i think you enjoyed yourself did you yeah you had a nice time you had a nice time. Right, let's get you out. Enjoy the sunshine while, while we can, eh? Yeah, good girl. Well guys, I hope you've all enjoyed coming on, along on a little hack with us. We certainly enjoyed ourselves. Peps was so good. I'm honestly so, so pleased with that. It can be a bit touch and go with her. Sometimes she's like that. Sometimes she's just a bit on edge. Don't really know what causes it. And like I say, maybe that no more nerves has like settled in now and that's, I don't know, maybe that's done the trick. We'll see how we get on in the coming months as the, uh, the spring air <laughs> hits us in the face. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've had a great day. I really, really enjoyed myself, as you can tell from my smile. I am really sorry for the lack of updates and videos in general. I um, will get back to the proper content. My camera that's gone in to be fixed should be fixed hopefully very soon. So um, then I'll have like really nice high quality clips and things again and yeah I'm just I'll do my best it's difficult for me as well now that I don't have Nick here to try and film content at the yard so I just need, need to like figure out where my content is going and what sort of things I want to do but it's it's coming guys <laughs> and um yeah the YouTube videos I'll be quite happy to upload now once a week still on a Sunday so once again <laughs> I just uh promote it there is a little red button down there uh, that you could press and I was like, which side is it I'm trying to th <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out with the camera switch it's down here somewhere if you could press that and ring the notification button then you're not gonna miss out on any of my future uploads and you'll get to see more of my crazy antics with pips <laughs> so yeah I hope you have all enjoyed until the next one which will be very soon I'll see you all later bye <laughs>